Tits here with Mr. Truck. Today we're doing the important fuel economy test. It's going to be a two-part series. We're, today we're using the Chevy Silverado 1500. This is the LTZ package with the 6.2 V8 and the 8-speed automatic. Andre and I are going to take it down the interstate. We're going to go with an empty truck first, next on Fast Lane Truck. Well, we're getting ready for our first run with the truck without a trailer. Andre and I will be the payload. Now this truck it recommends to run premium, so we're going to run 91 octane in it in this Silverado 1500 with the 6.2. No bed liner, but we do have these new cool towing mirrors we'll talk about later with the fold in and the uh, the lights, the LEDs. This is nice. This is only 249. That seems, you know, high on the way up, but on the way down, that seems cheap. Fill this up to the first click, and then we're going to wait 30 seconds and do the second click. See if we can get the uh, the right amount of fuel in here, as full as we can get it. Oh, there's the first click. 30 seconds. So we're, we're just about to begin the first run. This is the truck with no trailer. Right. We're getting on the highway. So Kent, I just wanted to uh, mention two points, right? Right. So we've been listening to you guys and reading your comments, and we've done two things. We are gonna go almost 100 miles on this highway test. That's so good. about 98 miles. Uh -huh. So we more than doubled the previous distance. Yeah, it's a better deal. So, you know, there's less opportunity for error there. And we're also gonna go both ways on the highway. We're gonna go about 49 miles one way and 49 the other. Mm -hmm. And we're also gonna run at 75. Cool. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? I like speed. Well, Colorado, that is the speed limit on an interstate here, yeah. so it's totally legal way. Yeah. And there's no restriction on the trailer, uh, so we can do that. Now this truck has a maximum trailering package, which means a couple things, right? One of which is the 342 rear end. Right. Because that combines with the 8-speed automatic. Yes, I love that 8-speed. Right, 8-speed and also uh, because of the 6.2 liter, I think we're getting the 342. I believe if you had the 5.3, the trailering package gets you the 373 rear end. Yeah, that, yeah, and then you know the last one of these we had did have that higher rear end for the fuel mileage. This one is for optimum towing, and I like that. This one's rated to tow 11,900 pounds, which is very good for a half ton. So this is a smaller cab, and um, the other thing I noticed is how quiet this truck is on the highway. Yeah, it is. What do you, what do you, what do you think? I think it's quiet. We're on a cement interstate here, I-76. But this also has some other uh, uh, items that are included in that trailering package. They get a different spring pack, and there's different cooling. I don't know that means it's a bigger radiator than what it is, but it does list several things that you get with the towing package. Now, Ken, what RPM are we turning here? We're around 1750, almost 1800 RPM, and that's the sweet spot, whether it's a gas or a diesel. <clears throat> excuse me, if you can be under 2000 RPMs, that's where you get that best fuel mod. You get above 2000, and you know, that's when things turn on and you start pumping that fuel. Okay, down in this corner, V4, we went down a hill, even at 75 miles an hour. Of course, going downhill, we got it to go into, uh, now it's back in V8 mode, but we got it to V4 mode. If we were driving a little slower, we could get V4 mode, you know, driving out here in the flats in eastern Colorado. So that's interesting. If we, <laughs> so we're, you know, to GM's credit, if we were driving 65 miles an hour, we'd probably be in V4 a lot more. But this is where we're going to be. We're going to be in the, at 75 miles an hour, so. Uh, the vehicles that we drive that have the ability to go to half the cylinders 
uh, won't quite see the advantage of this run. Our exit is coming up right here. Holy moly, what are you racing? Well, I was trying to average this out, and I guess I'm not going to be able to. No, it's all right. We're, Everybody's we're, turning the same corner we are. We're slowing down. We're going to go to the same pump, fill up, and do our calculations. That's right. We'll just see uh, what we got. Right now, we're back to eight, showing on the computer from the truck. We'll see how accurate that is. Same station, we're going to do the same thing, we're going to fill the tank up, go to that double click, and go on to our stage two with the trailer. Can you do the calculation or not? I can not? almost do that by hand. <laughs> well, there you have it. The real world testing, and that's a tank to tank comparison, is 19.01, 19 miles to the gallon. So that's what our run is without a trailer on the 98 mile run. The computer is showing 18.8, .8, very close, and it shows 95, 98.5 miles when we're just a hair under 98. So uh, the computer on the, on the truck's not too far off this time. Well, now you have it, our first new miles per gallon run with this 2015 Silverado. Stay tuned for the next truck we do on MrTruck.com and TheFastLaneTruck.com. Last time we did this with the empty Silverado. Now, we've got a horse train hooked up to us. We're full of fuel and we're going to take it down the road and see what kind of fuel mileage we get with a loaded horse trailer.